Hello, this is Brian Johnson with the SEO Press 60 Day Affiliate Payload Challenge. This is video number four. This is day seven. So you've been participating now for about a week. And really, we're starting to get to the point where your site should be pretty much fully functional. And we're going to talk about making sure you've got all your plugins working, you've got a proper category name, you've got your permalinks running. Everything is really set up and running the way it should be so you can basically at this point start to add content and soon we're going to be adding some AdSense and affiliate links and things of that nature. So let's talk about what you should have done by now. Now obviously I'm going to say that if you haven't watched all the core WordPress videos that's your first step. Make sure you watch them all now and, and you, might be, you might have been thinking well I thought I would just follow along with this 60 day challenge and watch them as I need to. Well that's fine but before you kind of move forward, I want you to get an idea of exactly what you need to do, what you need to accomplish, some of the uh, tactics and concepts of this course. So make sure you watch all the core videos. Number two, I'm going to say it would be really smart for you to go ahead and create kind of a, a three ring binder. Now I, have, I use these all the time. I've got uh, dozens of these and I print off core manuals, ebooks, instructional uh, posts, uh, web pages all the time and I add them to these kind of three ring binders and I group them together on subjects. In other words, if it's an ebook, I just put the whole darn ebook in a three ring binder and I can refer to the documentation. So with the 60 day challenge, there's a lot of information that's on my website, net marketing course, as far as what parts you should be doing and, and how you should be doing them and whatnot. So go ahead and make sure you're printing off every blog post so you have a, a concise, uh, you know, step one, step two, step three, assignment one, two, three, and so on. So at this point, I'm going to say that all the plugins that I've included in the download package, SEO Press Formula, you should have those installed in your blog, and they should all be activated, and they should all be running. Furthermore, every aspect of launching your WordPress site should be should be complete now. You should have changed the options reading page. You should have changed the options, options writing page. You should have gone ahead and made a keyword rich category. You don't want to have, uh, you don't want to use the category uncategorized. That's very, uh, that's the default category for the WordPress installation. So change that. Uh, you should have gone ahead and changed your permalinks structure. And again, all this information, well, how do I do all this stuff, Brian? Well, it's all in the core videos. So just go through each video. I'm going to give you a week now just to get all this stuff up and running, to get everything out of the way. So you've got a full week before we get to the next part of the, the next assignment, rather, assignment number five. And I want you just to make sure you have everything running and operating the way it should be. You've got your unique content on the home page. You're, you're linking out to other relevant sites. You're linking out in the, in the content itself on your home page and you're also linking out in your blog role or your links section of WordPress. So get all those things done. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and, and talk to you a little bit about the plugins you should have running. You should have the Ak Mismet, or I can never say this guys, it's a little tricky, Ak Ismet. It's the plugin that comes installed already with WordPress and it fights comment spam. So make sure you get that configured. And what you need to do is you need to go get a key from WordPress.com. So sign up for WordPress.com, get your key, and then activate that plugin. You should have already activated all in one SEO uh, plugin, and I've created a video on that. So if you're not sure about that, just watch the video. You're going to also want to uh, activate the Google Sitemap plugin. I've also created a video for the Google Sitemap plug plugin. Get that up and running. Uh, another plugin that's very important is the Link Cloaking plugin. Again, I've created a, a video for Link Cloaking plugin. It, it shows you how it works, how you should uh, use it, and what you need to think about. So make sure you get that installed and operating correctly. So later, when we start adding content and affiliate links or AdSense, you'll be uh, taken care of, and your affiliate links will be cloaked. Uh, what else here? Uh, Word, WordPress database backup, that's great to have running. It's not really going to help with your, your SEO, but if something happens, you'll have a, your database will be backed up. And also the WordPress automatic upgrade, again, it just helps with maintenance. A great plugin to have running 
it's not going to really help you much with that. Now, if, you're, if you've gone ahead and you, you've paid for the auto social poster, there's a lot of great documentation on how to get that set up and running, and I want you to do that now. Uh, install the plugin, activate the plugin. You're then going to need to go out and sign up for the social networking sites, get your uh, information, put it into the uh, plugin, and, and move forward there. And also, if you're planning on monetizing through eBay, then make sure the PHP Bay plugin is running, and you can find information on how do you get that up and running from the developer himself. I didn't put any information on those two plugins because they're paid plugins and nobody knows those plugins better than the developers. So you're going to have to do some work with the developers to get those figured out. Uh, a little bit beyond the scope of this course, and I actually left PHP Bay out because I like an older plugin from PHP Bay. And that's just a whole other can of worms, so you're going to want to talk to the developer there. So get those things up and running. Make sure you're, you're set to go. I also want you to make sure that you've got a, a good keyword list of topics that you're going to create, content articles you're going to add to your site based on the LSI keywords we talked about. Again, there's also a video within the core videos, the core WordPress videos on LSI and how you can uh, gain information about what Google understands as relating content with keywords. So you should have a, a keyword list based on LSI terms, keywords based on additional search terms around your, your niche and your theme, and you should have somewhere between at the very minimum 15 articles and as, as many as even 100. Uh, if you get to 50 or 60, that's probably fine for now, and you can, add, you can add more keyword phrases later. So let's get all that stuff done. Make sure you get your WordPress uh, installation is fully running. You've got everything switched over. You've gone ahead and changed your uh, options in writing, options in reading. Your permalinks are set to go. You've got good categories. You've added content to the home page. All the stuff we've, we're talking about. Now you're going to have to really dig into those core videos and you're going to have to make sure that your site is in accordance with those videos. So this is assignment number four. Uh, if you're brand new with WordPress, it's going to take some time. If you're more of an advanced marketer, uh, you can basically gather some content together, start writing, and we'll add that content uh, in about a week. So you've got a week now uh, until we go to assignment number five. This is it, Brian Johnson, all in uh, SEO Press Formula, 60-Day Affiliate Challenge, and we'll see you on assignment five. Take care.